welcome one and all to the 32 Irish Whiskey Tournament here on the KOE Nation. I am your pick of extreme, Phil KOE, the man of the hour, the man with the power, the man that makes the other podcast coward. You can find me, of course, at KOE Nation on YouTube, TikTok, and Twitch. And I am joined this evening by my indomitable broadcast partners, the one, the only... Your big bucking empire, your champion of the people for Revolutionary Wrestling Podcast. Uh, looking forward to drinking some more Irish whiskey tonight. So, folks, yes, and we're also joined this evening by <laughs> the one, the only, the non kappa friendly, the quadruple distilled, non chill filter, Tony fucking G. Like, share, subscribe to the KOE Nation for more of the 32 Irish Whiskey Tournament of Extreme. Those of you new to the channel, you need to know something very, very important. First and foremost, these two gentlemen have no clue what whiskey is which and what whiskey they're drinking at all. They, You can see them. You can see what whiskey A and whiskey B are. You can see them at home, but these two men do not know what they are drinking tonight. So this versus matchup is 100% blind and the most honest way to get the conclusion that's fair to both competitors. Now, speaking with, of 100%. Oh God. Yes. Phil. So let's get this over with. Chicken, what are the labels that Tony gave you for these amazing Irish whiskeys? Well, because Tony loves to hear about this so much. Tony sends me these little bottles that are labeled individually to where I don't know. So those of you who watch the channel, you know what's about to happen next. Um, Whiskey A is labeled in this cute little bottle, W8. W8. Okay. So you know how like WD-40, it was the 40th recipe of mm. the uh, WD-40 uh, formula. So this is like the eighth Irish whiskey that Tony ever truly fell in love with, and he decided he's going to the next level of Irish whiskey. Yeah, I'm totally right on here. You, a you, uh, why didn't you come up with something more creative like Tony had to wait W-8 for this one for a oh, long time? Oh, oh, oh. oh, 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 oh he's giving... He's giving he's it giving away. I'm doing better than Phil. He's giving us fucking Da Vinci Code uh, fucking <laughs> clues here. So it's one he had to wait on. Oh. Actually, it's not. But I'm just saying, you could have said something. Uh, or is oh, it? Oh, no, I'm calling his bluff. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. He's trying to. So it's one he had to wait All on. All right, move on. Let's so go. So probably like a high-level Bushmills or something. Jesus Christ, just yeah. go. Uh, another Bushmills? Um, and then the next one. He's got a lot. A1. Oh my god. This one is gonna this be This is like a steak high sauce? Expectations. Yeah, it's steak sauce. Oh I dumped this on my ribeye, yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> so really uh this is a really meaty blend. Uh, oh my god. Now it might actually be perfect <laughs> for um the Queen's favorite dish, Gaelic steaks. Oh boy. Okay. There we go. There we go. It's an ideal Irish whiskey for a Gaelic steak recipe. I promise you the coating on this one did not reflect the bottle at all. So that was all for nothing. Let's get Lies. into the nose. No. Lies. Can guarantee Communism. It. Propaganda. So all right. Whiskey A on the nose. Mm. I love this nose. Lovely, sweet. I'm thinking like butterscotch. Very. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Mm. That is superb. I yeah, love I that, give nose. You that There's really no floral here, which you typically it's get like with an pure Irish. candy. Yeah. Yeah, the candy aspect really covers this one. All right. Now let's see about Tony's steak sauce whiskey here. <laughs> this one's that's got a candy different. element, but more like a cotton candy. Yeah, that's good. Um, like a, it's like a berry. Sugar. It's like a sugar. Sugar, 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 sugar fruit. Saute into a steak really well. Okay, so, you can drop the steak thing, Phil. It's not. No. You'll be sorely disappointed to find out this is not even. You're not even close with this one. But I digress. It's 110 percent correct. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, chicken. Yeah. Thank. You. Sixty percent of the time, it works every time. Let's try whiskey A on the palate. I like those odds. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. The palate mm. definitely reflects the yeah. nose. Um, yeah, that there's an there's an initial flavor that you're like, wait, maybe this won't match, and then it just all kind of cascades 
and it just yeah it matches beautifully to the nose That's you know good. what you're getting with this one nose to palate finish yeah that was spectacular yeah, that's a really good one. Now, this I'm is awesome. Really, good one now. I'm really curious about Tony's A1 oh, Priori. I'm gonna whiskey. drink. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's that candy there, but it's more like a candy coating. Mm. There's another sweetness though that's mixed in. I can't really put my finger on it. And then you get a little bit of floral on the back end. Like, okay, I have a feeling you're awesome. either going to, yeah, I think most people will either love this or, I don't think anybody's going to hate it, but, like, in comparison, it's either going to kill the, it's going to kill A or A will completely destroy this one. Because mm. it's just a different palette. I could see why people might like it's that. It's soft. It's pleasant. I'm going to yeah. go back to A here. It's different. This is not easy. It is for me. Mm. It's not easy for me either. Okay. I think I know which way I'm going to go. I'm going to let you two go first. <sighs> I can't go. You've got to go before me. Check it which way go, you I'll go. go. I'll go first. Uh, I'm going to go with A. Um, I think they're both pretty good, but there's like this weird element of like a, a almost like a cologne uh, aspect. Yeah. Okay. I, that's I, that, I'm getting this okay. weird like perfumey cologne yep. uh, that's throwing me off. Um, I was wondering what a, a just seems more pure to me, and it, it just an overall roundabout great whiskey. Because like uh, I've been doing some studying on like you know being a sommelier in whiskey or in wine, and one of the things that they teach you to smell is uh, Chanel number no. five because as a perfume there's 24 different points of olfactory identification for chanel number five and you're supposed to find all these different and when you mentioned that it really reminded me of the time i was trying to pick them all out one time in an apartment store um so gosh i gotta agree with you on be there mm, man it's tough because i really <laughs> really like be here just it hits my personal taste a though just becomes more butterscotch the more time mm -hmm. passes yep. so i'm going to reluctantly painfully select whiskey a yeah i'm also just gonna by go the with, hair of its chinny chin chin though. i'm gonna go with a as well and it, it this was a lot closer than i expected it to be and this is a good one i'm excited for this blend because this is not one i would have thought of to do that's why i paired the two together uh, I'm going to let that breathe for a minute. Do you have any guesses, gentlemen, on which was which? Well, no, I, I, I think I think my I think perfect analysis earlier not. is just going to be proven to be right once again. Okay. So let's go with uh, Whiskey B, the loser. All right. What came up just short? Just shy and one that I would not feel bad about drinking ever. Powers, three swallows. Oh, oh wow. It's a fucking great. And as you can tell, I've enjoyed it. Enjoyed quite a bit of that. The winner though chicken like this is the one we got tony for uh his birthday yep. i think was it last, last year, year or the yep. year before i don't even remember but yeah. yeah and i i did have to stop enjoying it because i knew this tournament was coming up so i had to <laughs> leave well now back. you can get right back into it well the winner though oh yeah red breast 15 single pot still Triple mm. distilled mature. Okay, okay. Yeah, when we first tried that, when you bought that sampler in Houston in 2020, uh, I fell in love with that one. And that's just been one dear to my heart. I, I was going Whiskey A the whole time. But it was nice watching you guys squirm a bit over this one, I'll be honest. So, so that's powers two. Red breasted. We got a pair of breasts moving on. Yeah, that's... Whew. Nice. I, I, I expected Red Breast 15 to make it to the second round, but I, this was a lot closer. Now, for the blend. The blend smells great. It does. There's cotton candy and butterscotch, exactly what I wanted. Oh, God, yes. Mmm. Down, boy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. A minus. Mm. Oh, yeah. wow. I give it an A. That's good. I, I would say I'm going to go with A. That's nice. That's it's pretty. sweet, but the butterscotch finish. Mm. 
I'm loving that. That's pretty. That is beautiful. I can do that all day. Um, so, mm -hmm. power is three swallows. It is with uh, heavy heart. We shall yeet and Tony. I'm guessing this bottle lasts about another week. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. Um, <laughs> or so, night. Yeah, it yeah, might go tonight. Yeah, there's there's a distinct possibility. So, gentlemen, <laughs> as I'm known to say around here, all that being said. Thank you for joining us here at the KOE Nation for this matchup in the 32 Irish Tournament. Red Breast, single pot still, 15 year. You move onward and upward to the next round. Folks, the Sweet 16 is coming your way. Just one matchup left. I am your King of Extreme. Two matchups left with the seamless art of editing that will all be perfect. But yes, no, that's staying. Two matchups left, folks, here in the 32 Irish Tournament. Don't you dare take your eyes off this space. There's plenty more to come. So, Tony, Chicken, take it away. Uh, appreciate y'all tuning in. Find me, Linktree slash Big Buckin for all things Big Buckin, Empire-ish and Emperor and Championship material, because that's that's what I am, folks. Look forward to uh, drinking a couple more of these and going through the 32 Irish Whiskey Tournament. And yeah, maybe uh, we get to see some more breasts come through this uh, tournament. I am just Tony G. Find me on TikTok, Tony the Rod 2.0, Linktree slash Big Buckin for all the Big Buckin Empire offerings. And those of you who are curious what's already won, what's to come, here comes the bracket in just a second, but don't get too comfortable because there's a little bit more to come. And some surprises. Hit the bracket.